Hello everybody, this is a quick video today just to share with you some concerns we have about water beads. They can have multiple different names, gel beads, jelly beads, all sorts of things, but they look like candy, particularly to small children, and they are made of polymers that allow for these beads to grow up to 1,500 times their original size when they're in water. Now, the problem is if a child ingests them, puts them into a nose and ear, they can also absorb body fluids and continue to expand until they cause tissue damage damage, obstruction can even be life-threatening. So they're really a concern. I understand they were made originally for great reasons, and that was to provide some sensory play for kids, and that's wonderful, except often the younger siblings of those same children get a hold of the water beads in the home and then put them somewhere or swallow them. There have even been cases of these water beads being inhaled. So as you can imagine, often surgery has to then occur to save these children from the consequences of the ever-enlarging water bead. They are marketed under multiple different names, so I'm not going to go through all those names. There have been various recalls in the past. Uh, there's also concern of the polymers. Uh, many of them uh, contain acrylamide, and the levels in the water beads are higher than should be allowed. And obviously, that's because they weren't intended to be ingested, of course. But there are just a lot of reasons we have concerns about these water beads. So you should know there's currently a proposed ban against them uh, going to the Senate. It was proposed this past Thursday on May the 9th, and it is supported by the American Academy of Pediatrics because of all of our concerns about the safety issues around these water beads. So this is just a gentle reminder that we don't recommend having these in homes with small children. Thanks!